What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here and Ryan after taking Labor Day weekend off we're back. <laughs> so uh, on this volume of the CTC review coming to you live from the treehouse we've got three different pretty interesting products. Ryan why don't you come in and take a shot here. We've got Smart Food Cap'n Crunch Popcorn Mix. We got popcorn M&Ms, and then we've got natural light beer flavored planters peanuts. And these are the popcorn M&Ms, kind of a football season tie-in, because I guess you eat popcorn when you watch football, I don't know. <laughs> $2.99 at Kroger. Uh, it is just the regular milk chocolate M&Ms, and inside are supposed to be little tiny pieces of popcorn Kind of tastes just like a crispy M&M. &M. They smell kind of buttery. Here's what the package looks like. Not, not bad design work on their part. I like the little blue guy. Blue guy is ready to go. He is ready for some football. M&Ms are an official sponsor of the NFL. In case you were wondering. <laughs> um, they're pretty tasty, actually. They're tasty. The, the texture is great. It's very similar. If you like crispy M&Ms, you'll definitely like these. It's a little bit more of an emphasis on the crunchiness than you would expect out of a popcorn-flavored product. Because popcorn, like, the outside is very soft, and then the inside's like a kernel. Nothing's hard enough to be a kernel and nothing's soft enough to be the outside of a popcorn. So they just kind of found a middle. And because of that, if you just blindfolded somebody or somebody just didn't know what popcorn M&Ms were, they would never guess that this is popcorn flavored. That's, that's definitely a flaw of the product. I don't think that they captured popcorn and M&M flavor together. Um, but if you like regular M&Ms and you like the crispy texture, of a crispy M&M, you'll like these. I mean, they're, they're solid. Good. And while we're on the subject of popcorn, why not mix it with some breakfast cereal, right, Ryan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the Cap'n Crunch uh, Crunch Berries Popcorn Mix from Smart Food. Uh, I got it for $1.99 at Circle K for the small bag and $3.50 at Reezer's for a big bag. And here is what that bag looks like. It is a very shiny blue bag with a nice big old Cap'n logo in the middle. But yeah, berry popcorn meets Cap'n Crunch's Crunch Berries. Definitely berry. That was good. Did you get some cr good Crunch Berries in yours, yeah. Ryan? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Kind of tastes like cotton candy. It does oh, taste okay. more like cotton candy than I expected. I don't like the popcorn. Popcorn feels a little stale. It feels a little stale and it is most assuredly not. I mean, uh, like, these just hit. <laughs> so, it's not, it's not that good. Um, I like the textural differences of the, the crunchiness from the crunch berries in contrast to the softness of the popcorn. The popcorn is a little bit chewy and it lingers in your mouth far longer than the cereal does. So the last few bites that you get are just popcorn. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's it the, the popcorn in, in and of itself is not berry enough to kind of come through as a berry product. It really just kind of tastes like plain popcorn after your first couple bites. I think most of the berry flavor is coming from the crunch berries. So, I don't know, definitely some design flaws here, but it's okay. It's certainly interesting. I mean, you can't, you can't argue with a gimmick like that. And last but certainly not least, these are the Natural Light Beer Flavored Planters Peanuts. And Ryan, after you get a good shot of this, you gotta come down and, and grab, a, grab a good whiff. I mean, well, or I guess you could put it in your fist and then whiff it from there. It reeks of beer. Wow. I think you would fail a breathalyzer mm -hmm. if you ate these in drove. Uh, here is what the packaging looks like. It is apparently 
the reincarnation of Mr. Peanut's 21st birthday. Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really following. He's looking pretty young there. He's looking pretty young for a 21 year old. But uh, they look like, uh, like just the regular uh, honey roasted peanuts. Wow, as you put it up to your mouth, it just reeks of cheap beer. It's like a, it's like a honey, it's like the honey roasted peanuts, but with a little bit of like fruitiness. Mm -hmm. Is natural light kind of fruity? I don't really drink it. Mm -hmm. um, when, when you start talking and you start breathing, that beer is definitely starting to come through. When it's in your mouth, it's not like offensive. But the aftertaste is a little rough. I'm surprised how sweet. It is very sweet. I mean, it's, to me, this is like a honey roasted peanut. It does specify it's non-alcoholic. So if you're trying to get buzzed off your peanuts, sorry guys, ain't gonna happen. And that gets us into the gimmick grade. For the popcorn M&Ms, I think probably the most conventional idea, the most conventional packaging, but still a very inventive thing to stuff inside an M&M. For the gimmick, I'll give it a seven and a half out of 10. Crunch berries, popcorn mix, that's wild. You're combining a cereal with popcorn. That really is not something that you might expect putting M&Ms in popcorn, but you wouldn't expect putting crunch berries inside a popcorn. So, uh, what's that bag? That, that bag is beautiful. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Yeah. Natural light beer flavored peanuts. I think they're just a touch more interesting. I can go nine and a half out of 10. Really? Who would expect a beer brand to be labeled on a snack food? I mean, it just, uh -huh. I don't, I, I, I just think of the product tie-in universe when you think of all the possible combinations. This is pretty close to the bottom of the list. By the way, it's $6.99 for, for this. So it's incredibly expensive, which we'll get into how that affects its, uh, its overall grade in a minute, but it's not that obvious as you walk past it that it's a natural light beer flavor tie-in, which is why I can't go 10 out of 10. Ryan, I sent you a picture of it when I found it at Kroger, and for two days, you didn't even notice that it was a natural light beer yeah. tie-in. I was pretty excited about it, and you just no-sold it. And I was like, what the heck? All right, and that brings us to our capsule countdown today. And, um, you know, I got to give third place to the smart food popcorn. Because it, the popcorn itself just, I didn't think it was good. Yeah. I, I feel like the design of the product was just inherently flawed because it just, they're, they're crunched in your mouth at a different rate. Yeah. And a lot of those bites just don't really count. Maybe that very first crunch that you get is really good. And then it just deteriorates from there. It does not make me want to continue snacking. It doesn't make me <laughs> want more. Um, I got to give it a, uh, I give it a four and a half out of 10. It's acceptable. It's something that, given the gimmick, I recommend everybody still go out and buy, but it's not, it's not gonna be a repeat purchase. It's just, it's just not. It's, not. it's not of that quality in terms of its taste. Uh, second place, Natural Light Planters Peanuts. When they're in your mouth, they're pretty delicious. The smell is a little repulsive. And the, very B.O. smell. Yeah, and the aftertaste is pretty rough. But that said, as I was snacking on it, the texture is amazing. The glaze on the outside of it is perfect. It's like a, um, it's, it's like a Boston baked bean on the outside. It's got that like crunchy sugary coating that's really good. It's, um, it's just, it's a very snackable texture, but the aftertaste is, is not great and the smell is really bad. So I gave it a five out of 10. Second place on today's capsule countdown. Uh, you also get a factor in that it's six dollars and ninety nine cents. You got to really insane. be married to that gimmick grade, like I am, to uh, 
to really want any piece of that because that is an incredibly expensive product. I mean, that's an offensively expensive product. <laughs> I almost didn't buy it to see if I could get it cheaper, and thank God I did buy it because I've only been able to find it at one Kroger in Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, that brings us to our winner. Uh, you know, look, does it taste like popcorn and M&Ms? Well, the M&M's part, yes. Popcorn, no. <laughs> but it's pretty tasty. The popcorn M&M's win in the lightning round today. Uh, the texture is good. Uh, really, really good. Really snackable. But maybe not that accurate to the popcorn. So you really got to count off for that. A pretty low scoring winner. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 in first place on today's Capsule Countdown. It's one of those that... Um, you would think I'd be telling you to run out and go buy because it's like you got to experience a popcorn M&M. Honestly, I wouldn't necessarily go there for it. It just, uh, I don't think it's, it's all that well executed, but it tastes good enough. Look, if you like M&Ms and you want them a little bit crispier, then you're in heaven here. Um, but if you're expecting that buttery popcorn taste or the popcorn texture, you don't get it. You don't get the chewiness of a popcorn piece so it is a flawed product, but still delicious. First place on today's Capsule Countdown. Uh, and that brings us to our classic product today. We've talked about a couple different product mashups, and I'm going to show you one that is really crazy. Ryan, you don't even know what's coming. I don't know. It's Famous Amos Chocolate Chip Diet what? Soda. <laughs> oh my goodness. So in 1985, Famous Amos came out with a freaking diet soda. If you're thinking of a product that's less likely to be a diet soda than a Famous Amos cookie, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but just in case you thought that the Instagram era is what ushered in all of these crazy, unexpected brand mashups, just know, I mean, Famous Amos, I don't even know, I don't even know, I know it, it uses NutraSweet, but I don't know, um, White Rock Products by the Coca-Cola Bottling Company. So a Coca-Cola bottler made this uh, into a soda. So, uh, and that was 1985, so 35 solid years of crazy, uh, crazy stuff, crazy repurposing of brands. I love how it says 100% NutraSweet. 100% NutraSweet. Well, hey, you know, you gotta get cancer somehow. Oh, Why good. not a can of famous Amos soda? Uh, <laughs> anyway, I live for that kind of stuff. Uh, this is something that's been on the can shelf, but it's so close to my foot that none of you guys have ever seen it, so I had to bring it out. Uh, anyway, guys, because we skipped last week, I do feel an obligation to do a little makeup grade. And Ryan, we're bringing back the lightning round for one week only. Oh. This Friday, we're doing lightning round 39 with eight brand new cereals. We got Dunkin' Donuts cereals. We got crazy new cereals from HEB. We got four different Kellogg cereals, eight cereals in total. Definitely one you won't want to miss. Uh, Ryan, we got a lot of cereal to eat in a minute. <laughs> so get ready. And of course, until next time, guys, I will miss you until I see you on Friday this time. Woo. Cheers. <laughs>